All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be reviewing the new XY9 set, Rage of Broken Sky, which is also going to be Breakpoint, which is going to be coming out, I'm pretty sure, in February, I think, and um, we're going to be reviewing the cards from the set, what is good and what is playable, so I am getting this off of Poke Beach, which, by the way, I highly recommend you, like, make an account on Poke Beach. Uh, basically, they have a lot of news that they always put on their site, so I recommend always going there. Like, every day, they'll always have, like, new Poke news. It's just a really good website. Uh, so I'll link that down in the description. Make sure you guys go check it out. Great website. Anyways, now we can get into the review. And honestly, I'm a little underwhelmed with this set. I don't think it's honestly that great, but we're still going to look at it. There are some interesting things. Um, but I honestly think the Golduck Break sets are going to be more interesting, because there, there's going to be a Golduck Break set that's going to be added to this set in the English version. So we're going to be getting Golduck Break, which basically allows you to move any energy around as often as you like. So it's basically an Aromatease with any energy, but it's a stage 2. And then also there's, um, we're getting like a reprint of Dive Ball. If you've ever wondered why Dive Ball and Max Potion have been going up so much on the market on, po on PTCGO. It's because they're getting reprinted, and there's going to be a reprint of Max Potion and Dive Ball in XY9 Breakpoint. So that's why. Anyway, so we started off with Chikorita, and then we have Bayleaf, and then we got Meganium. So Meganium has the ability Overgrow. If this Pokemon's remaining HP is 50 or less, this Pokemon's attacks do 70 more damage. So that could be interesting. I just don't know how you're going to be able to actually get the HP to go down by 50 to 50. Um, but that could be an interesting deck, you know, if Meganium survives an attack and, you know, it uh, takes 100 damage. Well, Green Force is going to be able to do 50, or actually, no, not 50. It's going to be able to do 110 damage, and then, or 120 damage, sorry. And then you're going to be able to heal 120 damage off of it, so... It could be interesting, but I don't really see it working. Even with Force of Giant Plants, I just don't see it. Um, next, we have C Dot, which I'm actually happy that we got a new C Dot. I actually really like this artwork. So this is going to be going into Shiftry. Um, that also means we have a new Shiftry. <laughs> anyway, so we got Cricketot. Cricketot, I actually think, could be a decent Pokemon for Grass decks if they ever become relevant in the future. Bug Scent. Search your deck for up to three Grass Pokemon. Show them to your opponent. Put them in your hand. Notice how it says three grass Pokemon. It doesn't exactly say three basic grass types. So this could actually be a pretty cool card in standard for forced giant plants decks. Uh, you know, search your deck for up to three grass Pokemon. You could just grab like a whole evolution line and the next turn if you since you know there's no N or anything in the format, you don't really have to worry about losing that hand unless they judge you of course. You could just play down that whole evolution line. So Cricketot I actually think is pretty decent and I think anyways it's pretty interesting. Then we have Cricketune. I don't really think it's that good. I mean, you could do 100 for one grass if you do Screech, but it's so weak, it'll probably get knocked out anyways. Even with Force of Giant Plants, I don't really see it. Next up is Pet Lil, and then we have Lilligant. Pardon me, sorry. Oh, is that a burp for a sec? Uh, Lilligant is interesting. So, Whimper, during your opponent's next turn, if he or she attaches energy to hit to the fending Pokemon from his hand, that Pokemon becomes asleep. So, if your opponent wants to attach during their next turn, they actually go to sleep. And I think they, they also, that means they won't be able to attack, which is an interesting card. I think, I mean, I don't think it's going to be playable, but it could be interesting with, like, hammers and crawdunts, so that you can continuously just, you know, keep running the amount of energies. So I can see Lilligan being interesting. I don't think it's going to be playable, but maybe in um, Expanded we could try this out with like lasers and stuff to make it do more damage. Next we have Durant. Durant I actually really like. I actually think this could be a very cool mill deck. Um, I don't know if it'll be better than Sableye Garbodor or Wailord or Bunnelby Houndoom or the original Durant, but it's interesting. Now, we're actually not even going to be using Durant if we make a Durant deck. We're going to be using Mew. You play Mew with Dimension Valley, you put a Rainbow Energy on Mew, so that has damage on it, and then bam, just like that, you discard the top four cards of your opponent's deck. So, this thing, I think, will be good in Expanded with Mew. I don't think it's going to be good in Standard, but in Expanded, it's interesting. Next up, we have Camerupt. Camerupt is interesting with Eruption. It does 8 damage, and then each player discards the top cards of his or her deck, and this attack will do 60 more damage for each energy card discard in this way. 
I don't think this will be playable. You know, it's only doing 140. You can power it up, power it up with blacksmith. So there is potential, but I don't know. I mean, you're discarding the top card of your deck and your opponent's deck. Maybe we'll see though. It's interesting to say the least. Uh, next up, we have Heatmore. Like I said, really nothing here. Just you know, two for one for 40. They have a tool on them. Next up, we have Slowpoke. I know my uh, bro, Reclusive Slowbro, is going to be happy to see that we got a new Slowbro. And I actually think that these two cards are playable. So, Slowbro has the attack Careless Hand, which is not interesting. I mean, you can do 60 damage with it. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, but then, we're going to be looking at Miracle Home Run for 3 energies. When you use this attack, if you have one prize card left, you win the game automatically. So, a lot of people think that will work. I don't know, definitely with Mew, but I don't really think it'll be that playable, but it's something I think some players will test out. You know, it's only a DC and a colorless. If you're running maybe like an energy acceleration deck, yeah. I don't know. Maybe someone will make some weird Archie slow bro deck. That'd be a funny idea. And then we have Slow King. This card I actually think could be a playable card. Maybe with something like Seismitoad. You know what? My lamp in my room just burnt out. There we go. Okay, anyways. Ability is King's Inspiration. Once you're in turn before you attack, flip a coin of heads, choose an energy card attached to one of your opponent's act to your opponent's act Pokemon, and then you move it to one of their bench Pokemon. Why I think this is good is because you could just move off maybe a DCE, a double dragon energy, or just an energy in general, and just move it to something like Hoopa or, you know, Octillery or really just something that will have like that, you know, won't use the energy at all. It's gonna be good because you could actually just move that energy to like a Hoopa if it's like a double dragon and then that card just gets discarded. So Slow Bro Slow King I actually think could be a very interesting tech idea or maybe even just build a deck around Slow King and like Seismitoad X so that that route. But people will play shamans and then they can get the energies back. Uh, but obviously if you run hammers it'll be a different story. So I think Slow King is a potentially decent card. Next up, we have Cloyster. Cloyster is interesting. Sudden Clamp is 10. If this Pokemon fall from Shelter during this turn, your opponent's attack Pokemon are paralyzed. I don't think that's good since it only does 10 damage, but hey, I mean, it's thought that counts. Um, next up, we have Gyarados EX, which I think could be a decent deck. I don't think it's going to be that great in Expanded, but in Standard, it has some potential. Wet Weather, which is a very weird attack name. Uh, flip a coin of heads. Uh, flip a coin until you get Tail Story. For each head, search your deck for water energy, and then you attach it to this Pokemon. So basically, you can flip a coin of heads, and if, hey, it's like, oh, I get a Pokemon, I get energy card if I get three heads, and then bam, just like that, this thing's gonna be powered up. And then we can start it off with Splash Bank, which does 130 damage. Not, It's not gonna be enough to one-shot anything, but maybe with bats, I don't know, we'll see. I think this card has some potential, but... I think the energy flip is kind of what kills it. Then we have Mega Gyarados, which is... I've noticed they're red. Um, Mega Gyarados is interesting. Uh, four colorless energies, so keep in mind it's colorless. It does 120, and then you may have this attack. Do 20 more damage times the number of water energy on it, and then if you do, discard the top two cards of your deck. So I can see this thing working, you know. It's only the top two cards, but, you know, they can be crucial cards. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's strong because you can hit for, like, 180 damage with four energies. But, you don't want to discard the top two cards of your deck. I, I'm just kind of underwhelmed with this Mega Gyarados. I don't know. I mean, it's it's workable, but I just don't know. Uh, then we got Suicune. Suicune is pretty good. Uh, not pretty good, but it's okay. Three waters for 110, nothing too special. But then, wind protection. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks, except for damage done to this Pokemon. So, basically, if they try to poison you... If they try to, uh, you know, I don't know, snipe, I don't know, I, I just, I don't think this is playable, I mean, the ability is interesting, but I just, if it was preventing damage, Suicune would be a lot more playable, but a lot more OP. Next up, we have Manaphy EX, which is actually probably, not the best EX, but it's up there as one of the betters. So, yeah, it's basically a Dark Eye EX reprint. Each of your Pokemon that has any water energy on it has no retreat cost, so bam, just like that, Dark Cloak gets reprinted as Aqua Cube, and then Mineral Pump, you know, 2 for 60, but mainly people are going to use this for that free retreat. Obviously, with Keldeo and Expanded, I mean, even then, like, I still think it'll work 
without Keldeo and Expanded, because in Keldeo, hey, you have to add the Float Stone and whatnot. This will be great in Expanded. Uh, yeah, I mean, Manaphy is interesting. Um, I think that ability is great. It's going to be great with, like, those energy movie decks that use Rainbow Energy. So Manaphy, yeah, it's a pretty good card. Next up, we have Timbull, which has Round in its attack, which pretty much is... I mean, I don't think Round... Whoops. I don't think Round will, like, come back or anything, but, like... Yeah, having Round is interesting. Sorry, I friggin'... I'm sick right now. It's kind of hard to talk like this, but whatever. I'm trying. I don't know if my voice sounds a little, like, off to you. Uh, I have... Then there's Seismitoady X. Or, why did I just say Seismitoady X? Then there's Seismitoad, which has Sop Up. For one water, choose up to three energy cards from your discard pile and attach them to this Pokemon. I... Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, definitely a great way to repower it up. But the problem is, is... I don't really think Seismitoady X is going to work as a stage 2, especially for 4 waters, just for 90, and then your Protect Pokemon is now confused, and they can't retreat. I don't really think Seismitoady is that great. Then there's Ducklid, and then there's Swana, but nothing too special there. Then we have Froakie, Frogadier, and then Greninja. So Greninja has Shadow Slip, which until the end of your opponent's next turn, you know, it basically hacks Maniac and attacks, so that's interesting. Uh, it does 140, so maybe you could ba build the deck around this. I, I doubt it, but it's possible. Then we have Gecko Splash, which is pretty strong. So 1 for 60, then you choose a Water Energy, attach this Pokemon, and then you return it to your hand for 80. So that's great. You know, you could just put the water on, Muscle Man, return that water you had on the Greninja to your hand, do 100, and then you could just reattach that Water Energy. So I think Greninja is interesting. I don't know how playable, because like I said... It's a stage 2, but it's possible. And then we have our first break of the set, which is Greninja Break. Greninja Break is decent. It has giant water shirk and 170 HP. So once you're in turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a water energy from your hand and then put 6 damage counters on one of your Pokemon. So, opponent's Pokemon. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, I could see a uh, Greninja deck. My dog is barking. Um... I could see a Greninja deck, you know, with Greninja, you know, the other Greninja, then Greninja break, you just pile damage and then knocks the out one hit. I don't think it'll work, but, like, it's it's a potential fun deck, you know what I mean? Uh, Greninja break is interesting, so maybe Greninja break could work in, like, decks that need Greninja. Uh, now we have Blitzel, and then Zepstrika. Zepstrika actually, I think, is good. Uh, basically because as long as this Pokemon is in play, damage from your Lightning Pokemon attack isn't affected by effects in your opponent's active Pokemon. Basically meaning it will, if you have it in play, Manetrix Assault Laser will go through Regice. And thank God, oh, Regice, I hate Regice so much. Regice is stupid. I, I hate Regice. It's overpowered. And, um, this ability allows you to go through it. So that's great. I think Zipstrika will be awesome with, like, those things. And even Takedown is a decent attack. I mean, 50, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Fighting Resist... Has a fighting resistance, it actually is going to do 110 damage. So that's pretty strong for two energies. So who knows? Maybe Zip Striker could work. Next up, we have Hypno, and Hypno is. It's luring a Clefairy into hell. That's actually a very creepy um, image, or dark image, I should say. So Hypno has the ability Good Night Baby. What the? Oh my god, that is such a creepy name. <laughs> I just saw that too. I was like, what? what? Good Night Baby? Who the? What? What creep? Yo, fire the person who made that ability name. Like, the person's a pedophile. Good night, baby. What the? That's something you say after you f bang someone. Okay, anyway. So, once you're in turn, before you attack, you may use this ability. Both players' active Pokemon are now asleep. I think this could work in, like, disruption decks. Obviously, you could play stand-in and then retreat. So, eh, Hypno's pretty good. Uh, you got the play with Zork, though. Good night, baby. What the hell? Who did that? Next up, we have Espeon EX, which, um, I don't know if it's that good. I mean, Miracle Shine. Do you evolve each of your opponent's Pokemon, put the highest stage of the evolution back to your opponent's hand? Maybe you could try this with, like, Fortress and Bronzong. I mean, that, I think, actually, that would work, like, Fortress and Bronzong, you know, but you have to play against stage 2 deck. Then we have Psycho Shock to 70. It doesn't affect it by any effects, so it'll do 70, goes through stuff like Red Ice, but I, it does 70, you know, Muscle Bane, I it's too weak. Next up, uh, I mean, okay, actually, you know, maybe this could be a counter to, like, Mega Mewtwo Y, but then again, it's only doing 180. Uh, then we have Scorpion, then we have Drapion. Drapion, pretty underwhelming. Unfortunately, uh, Drapion is such a cool Pokemon. Why did that make it so weak? Next up, we have Sigilyph. 
with Reflective Shield. During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon takes any damage from an attack, but five damage counts on the attacking Pokemon. So this thing with like Rock Guard or like a new card from the set, that could be funny, but I don't know. I mean, obviously, if you know, Fighting type, you could abuse Focus Sash with it, but I don't know. It's interesting. Now, I've already made a video on this, but we are getting a Garbodor reprint of the ability anyway. It's not the exact Garbodor, unfortunately. I'd love to get those shiny Garbodors. Uh, but Garbotoxin, if this Pokemon has any tool on it, you know, in each Pokemon in play, in each place, just discard pile, blah, blah, blah. They have no abilities, so, yeah, great thing this is returning. It's an awesome ability. It's by far, it's going to be, it's going to see play, let's face it. So, yeah, we got Garbodor back. We got Hot Edge, Dewblade, Aegislash. Aegislash is pretty cool. So, Sword Pain. For three colorless, place damage counters in each of your opponent's Pokemon equal to the number of damage counters already on them. So, like, if they have, like, three damage counters on that Pokemon, you're going to put three damage counters on, like... It, it's so, it's kind of hard to explain, but, like, if your opponent's active Pokemon has three damage counters on it, and your opponent's bench has, like, 20 on them, you're going to be doing 20 to their bench, which makes it 40, and then you're going to do 30 to their active. So basically, it's going to double each time. So that's a very good attack, in my opinion, even for a stage 2, because you can run Dimension Valley. Aegislash, I think, could be a potentially playable card. We have a uh, Scrap Reprint, Phantom Reprint. This thing is actually kind of good. Ascension, search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves a Phantom, put on a Phantom. So you're going first, put energy, boop, turn one Trevenant, just like that. That is very strong. I think Phantom is great. This Phantom is obviously going to be the one people play. Even with the weak HP, it's still got that attack. Next, we have our new Trevenant, which has Seed of Anxiety. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon's attacks cost colors more. So it's basically a head ringer as an ability and only their basics. So I could see Trevenant working. Obviously, we have the Forest Curse one. Energy Press is a decent attack to 70 plus 10 more damage for each energy. For each energy on your post active Pokemon, obviously it blends well with Seed of Anxiety. So I could see this Trevenant working. I mean, you could probably pair it with like Head Rigger and whatnot, and it could actually work. Then we have Trevenant Break, which I really like. Trevenant Break, uh, Silent Fear, plays two damage cards on each of your Pokemon. I don't think that's why you're going to play it. You're going to play it because uh, the item lock Trevenant's going to have 160 HP, and this thing's going to have 160 HP if you wanted to go that route. So this thing is just... I think Trevenant Break is a great break card. Probably the best break in the, actually no, Gold Up Break's gonna be better, but this card is still really good. Uh then we have Sido Widow. Uh let's it let's imitate. If your opponent used a Pokemon's attacks during his or last turn, use that attack as this attack. So obviously if they use Emerald Break and you have a Sido Widow on the bench, you just break oh, that's such funny the Trevenant is a Widow. Uh you could actually use Emerald Break right back. I could see Sido Widow in like a fighting deck, like Lucario Bats. So obviously, if they hit you with a big attack, you could just hit them right back with that attack and knock them out. Sudowoto could be interesting. I think this card might be like a one of like fighting decks. Who knows? Then we have Gibble. Uh, then we have Gabite, which actually barely showed Gabite. Uh, but wow, it's actually a cool artwork. But then we have the Garchomp, and this card is pretty awesome. I really like this Garchomp. Um. This card shop is just amazing. So, Assault Turbo does 60 damage. Choose one energy card for your post this card pile and attach one of your Pokemon. What for 60 with that effect? That's actually really good. Obviously, I think this will be worth while with um, double with Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. Maybe Maxi's Night March because you can actually do 60. Choose one energy. So, you can actually just put a DCE right back on your like Night Marchers. So, I think Garchomp Maxi's is going to be a thing. Actually, I want to get to like pop up okay it's not popping up but yeah that's actually good and even biting pledge is amazing it does 80 and if your opponent's active pokemon is an ex pokemon it does 80 more damage you already know how popular ex this is obviously with fighting stadium strong energy muscle band this garchomp is amazing i really like this garchomp a lot uh it's so good um so yeah definitely look out for garchomp uh we got pancham then we got nuzleaf Obviously, no see reprint. Won't we'll see play with Shiftry. And speaking of Shiftry, we have Shiftry right here. Blow away a dark and a colorless. Flip three coins. If any of them are heads, look at your opponent's head. And then discard number of cards equal to the number of heads. So, I, I don't know. I mean, you're only flipping three coins and you can get triple tails. I don't really see blow away being that good. But it's interesting. I don't think you can make a deck around it. But it's there. Then we have Tengu Return. 
So choose one trainer card from your discard pile, show your opponent put your hand again. Only to 60, 3 energies, and it's only one item, so I don't really think this shift tree is that good. However, I think this Dark Eye is pretty good. So Dark Eye EX. Dark pulls 20 damage, plus 21 damage for each dark energy attached to all your Pokemon. So this could be Dark Eye Malamar, or it could also mean Dark Eye with Dark Patch and Expanded. And then Dark Head. Not only Dark Head is also a pretty strong attack. Pardon me, sorry, I just burped. Uh, dark Dark Head could work with Hypno and Zoark, right? You know, you Hypno them, they're asleep, then you stand him with Zoark, bring up the Dark Rye, Dark Head knock them out with uh, 260, Muscle Man 180, bam. Dark Rye EX, in my opinion, is an amazing card. I think this is probably the best EX of the set. It's just that good. Then there's Pangoro, which has Parting Shot, it's 10, that switches Pokemon. With one of your bench Pokemon, then during your post next turn, this defending Pokemon's attacks. The defending Pokemon do 60 less damage. So that's interesting. I don't think it's that good, but it's a cool attack. Who knows? Maybe someone will make something out of it. And then we have Scizor EX. And Scizor has Steel Wing, does 20 damage. During your post next turn, this attack, this Pokemon uh, takes 20 less damage from attacks, so not that great. Uh, Gale Thrust is 50. This Pokemon was on your bench and became your active Pokemon. This turn does 110 damage. You could pair that with Zoark, but it's only 110. Who knows, though? Two metals. Obviously, you can use that with Bronzong. Then we have Mega Scizor, which I think could be playable. Um, I don't know how playable, but it's interesting. So, Iron Crusher, 120 damage. And then you may either discard a special energy, attach your post Pokemon, or stadium in play. So, that's interesting. Obviously, you could make it work with... Against Night March, Totina, or really just any decks that abuse special energies. Or even, you know, Mega Ray, get rid of their stadium. So, Mega Scizor, I think, is decent. Obviously, two metals, easy to power up. Does a lot of damage. I could see this working because you can power it up so quickly thanks to Bronzong. Then we have Pharaoh Thorn. So, Pharaoh Thorn is interesting. Spike Whip, one metal, and a DC does 10 damage to each your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, yeah, 10 damage to each of your opponent. Times the colorless in their retreat cost. So it's actually going to do 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So not just, like, one Pokemon. All of them. So if your, Poke if your opponent has, like, Pokemon with, like, two, three retreat to play, it's going to do 30 to them. It does it to multiple. I think Noivern is better, though, because obviously it's back a location. But Ferrothor can make for a pretty good deck with, obviously, uh, what's that card called? Uh... Meowstick, and even Dustinor, and Mach also, and Team Mach with Secret Base. So there is potential with Ferrothorn. I think it does. It's interesting. Then we have Clefairy. Then we have Clefable also. Clefable, uh, not that good. Uh, actually, Boom Barrier blocks damage onto it. You know, Pike Dragon types, but I don't think it's that good. Then we have Dragalge, which has bad poison. So the Fetty Pokemon is now poisoned. Put four damage counters instead of one on it. In between turns, so that's I mean that's cool. Obviously, it's better than it's better than Verbank. So maybe Dragology could work with Seismitoad. I don't know. You could poison them, then you know Zoark standing next turn, and then Quaking Punch. I don't think that'll work, but it could be funny. Uh, then we have Rattata and Radicate. With Radicate's antibodies can't be affected by special conditions. Really, nothing too special. Thirty Shock. Potsack Pokemon is now poison. Discarding tools attached to that not good either. We have Radicate Break, which is interesting. You know, Super Fang put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. So obviously, it's like the one from Badger's Crossed. Since Radicate is decent, obviously you can play with Aridos, but it's got a little bit less HP. It's too weak. It's just you know, it's I don't know. It's it's there. I don't think it's gonna be competitive, but you know, it works with Aridos. Then we have Stantler, and I think Stantler is awesome. For a DCE, it does 30 damage, and if the defending Pokemon if, actually, no, sorry. It does 30, and then if this attack will do 80 damage if you have a Mega Pokemon on your bench. So you could obviously pair this with Mega decks like Mega Rayquaza, Mega Manetric. So Stantler, I think, is pretty good. Not that great, but it's interesting enough. You know, 80 for 2. If you have a Mega in play, I think this will be nice. People will probably run it to counter Regice. Then we have Ho-Oh EX, which I think it'll work with Smeargle Bronzong, potentially, but... The energy cost is a little annoying. Cleansing Flame, once during your turn before you attack, and this Pokemon has any fire on it, and you may heal 50 from it, so that's cool. You know, you can heal from it, 180 HP, kind of make that a tank. And then you have Elemental Feather, just 130. Choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This attack is 32. It's so obviously, you could put a Muscle Band on it, 
And I think uh, Squeaky T Fish Chuckles already said this, but you know, you could do 150 third of that bench and then lie sander them up and then take two prizes like that, four prizes potentially. So Ho OEX I think is pretty good. Uh, but it has to work with like Bronx on Miracle. That's the only way this card will see play. Then we have Glamiao, Brugly. Uh, Brugly is really nothing that special. Uh, then we have the items. So we got Time Puzzler. Uh, so basically, you may play two pu Time Puzzlers at a time. So if you have two in your hand, you can you know, play them both. If you played one, look at the top of the card of your deck, put them on top of your deck in anywhere you like. Not too good. But then if you play two, you search your discard pile. Wait, yes. Choose two cards from your discard pile. Show them to your opponent, put them in your hand. So if you have two of these in your hand, you can play two of them. And then you grab two cards from your discard pile. That is pretty good. I could see four of these be just like kind of a staple in some decks. Choosing two cards from your discard pile is very, very strong. So these things are pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised if people rate like four of any deck. Speaking of cards that are pretty good, we have Max Elixir. So it says, look at the top six cards of your deck. Choose a basic energy you find that are attached to one of your basic bench Pokemon. That is very strong. That is going to be a great way to build up stuff like Primal Groudon, or just any Pokemon in general. It also might be able to make this thing playable. So I really do like Max Elixir. I think this is a great card. Very, very strong. Then we have Burst Balloon. So this will work with Garbodor. If this card is attached to a Pokemon at the end of your opponent's next turn, discard it. When this, when the Pokemon this card is attached to is damaged by the opponent's attack, put six damage counters on that Pokemon. So obviously it's a, a little rock guard card. Pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's interesting enough. You know, you discard it, someone attacks it, you put six damage counters on that Pokemon. Then we have Fighting Spirit Bell, which I guess confirms that Muscle Band will not be getting a reprint. So basically, the basic Pokemon this card attached to gets its max HP increased by 40. And it's attacks to 10 more damage. Now, see how it says max HP? That actually means that it has to have 0 damage on it in order for that to work. And then also, its attacks will do 10 more damage. Not as strong as Muscle Band, but that will be very strong with Night March. Uh, obviously, you know, a Joltik with, with 70 HP is going to be a lot harder to knock out. And even a Pupku with 100 HP will be harder to knock out. So, Fighting Spirit Belt, I actually really like. And I think this card might be... A replacement for Muscle Band. Then there's obviously the Spirit Links, you know, Gyarados, Scissor, Spirit Link. Then we have Delinquent. Discard a stadium in play if you do your opponent choose three cards from his or her hand and discard some. Uh, that's cool. I think maybe people play one of these to kind of counter, uh, you know, stadium decks. So they have to discard three cards from their hand, which is pretty nuts. Uh, then we have, uh, wait, wait, what? Sorry, I was. Something like else on my screen for a sec. Uh, your opponent reveals his or her hand, discard as many cards from your hand as you like, and then draw that many cards. Uh, I don't really think it's that great. It's draw support, but I don't know. Unfortunately, we did not get any full hurt supporters, which is very annoying. Uh, another thing that's going to annoy me, you guys will see why I'm kind of angry. Uh, then there's reverse valley blue sides. So there's the blue side. And that this player's metal Pokemons take 10 less damage from your post attacks. I not really that good. It's only 10 less. Red side, choose which card, choose which way this card faces. When you play it, this player's darkest Pokemon do 10 more damage. So this is pretty awesome. It'll probably see put that dark ride evil tall, no doubt. So Reverse Valley, pretty decent card. Then there's our new Splash Energy, which I'm pretty sure finishes off all the special energies for our types. If the water Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from attack return, all Pokemon cards to that owner's hand instead of discarding them. But you have to discard like all the energies and tools and stuff. But uh, that's pretty good. It's obviously basically like rescue energy but for water types. So I think Splash Energy is pretty good. And now onto the Full Arts. we got Full Art Gyarados. Full Art Mega Gyarados. Uh, full Art Manaphy. Full Art Espeon. If it wants to load. Full Art Darkrai which looks really cool. Uh, full Art Scizor. Full Art Mega Scizor which also looks pretty cool. Full Art Ho-Oh, and sadly, Shiny Gyarados! They give us a Shiny Gyarados, guys! Oh my god, a Shiny Gyarados! You know, they could've given us Shiny Level Ball, Shiny Floatstone! No, 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 they give us Shiny Gyarados! Okay, seriously, if anyone from Pokemon sees this, please give us Shiny Items back in XY10! Please, we don't care about Shiny Gyarados and Mewtwo! 
a lot of people want shiny items. People like their shiny items. People like their shiny Ultra Balls, their shiny VS Seekers, their shiny Enhanced Hammers, their shiny Rare Candies, Max Potions. Please, give us shiny Level Ball and Floatstone. Just give us shiny items, please. I don't care if it's shiny Full Heal. I will take it, as long as we are getting shiny items back. Please, shiny items are amazing. They are better than shiny Pokemon. Anyways, my rant is over. Yeah, that was the set. XY9. Rage of Broken Skies slash Breakpoint. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell me what you guys like in this set. Tell me what cards you think will be playable. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.